Prime Minister, first, your, your reaction to the prospect of peace talks between Russia and Ukraine? Look, what's happening on the, on the European continent is an absolute catastrophe. Uh, President Putin has decided to wage a war of choice against the people of, of Ukraine. He's inflicting untold misery, violence, suffering on a completely innocent uh, population. Uh, if he wants to stop, if he wants to withdraw, uh, if he wants to, to negotiate, uh, that's uh, very good news. Uh, I have my doubts, I've got to, to tell you. I, we, there's nothing I've seen so far in his behaviour that leads me to think that he could possibly be sincere. Uh, but if he is, then we should pursue every avenue. But clearly what needs to happen is he needs to withdraw his war machine from, from Ukraine. Specifically, what's your message to President Putin when he says he's putting his nuclear arsenal on alert? I think that's a distraction from the reality of what's going on in Ukraine. This is a, a, an innocent people who are uh, facing a, a totally unprovoked act of aggression against them. Uh, and what's actually happening is that they are fighting back, perhaps with uh, more effect, uh, with more resistance than the Kremlin had bargained for. And uh, I think that is what is really going on. And you can see some of the logistical difficulties that uh, the Russian forces are, are experiencing. You can see, and I think the, the Russian Defence Ministry have themselves conceded, that they're having casualties. This is a disastrous, misbegotten venture uh, by President Putin. Uh, it can lead to no good whatever uh, for Russia, as we uh, in the West have said uh, continuously from the beginning. It needs to end. If he has a, a proposal to, to negotiate and withdraw, then all the better. How soon can you impose sanctions on Russian oligarchs who are based here in the UK? We're going to accelerate the, the moves that we've got uh, already in train. We want to smash it through the, the Commons as fast as, as we can. We want, what we want to do is expose the identities of the, of the people who own the, the properties in uh, in London and around the country, uh, expose the identity of the people who own the wealth of, of all kinds, and if we can show a link to the, the, the Putin regime, then we will be in a position to, to distrain those assets, to seize them, to take them. And, you know, I, I, let me put it this way. Uh, I think that when it comes to the rebuilding of, of Ukraine after this nightmare, this disaster caused entirely uh, by President Putin and, and his cronies. I can't think of a better use for, for that cash. Final question. Should the Russian broadcaster RT be allowed to broadcast in the UK? We have a principle in this country that we don't allow politicians to ban this or that media organisation. And that's the, that's the way we, we do it. And I think we're better for that. But I've got to tell you that I think the stuff that RT is peddling at the moment is... Uh, doing a lot of, uh, of damage to the truth. And uh, I think it's important that Ofcom should, should look at it and, uh, and make up its mind about whether that organization is infringing the rules of this country. Sounds like if the power was with you, you'd turn it off. Yes, but the difference between us and Russia is that the power is not with me. And that's the right thing. And that you know, is partly what we're, what we're fighting for. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.